Yo, who could that possibly Who's be? That? He's got a pillow for their feet. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I bet my 17-year-old daughter, DJ oh, Khaled! Man. Oh, yes! We should have known. <laughs> and another one. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Get a pillow for your feet. Res respectfully, Cass. Respectfully. You know what? I, I kind of can relate. You know, like, bringing a pillow to a game for your sneakers, it might be extra, but those are exclusive, not yet released Jordans right there. And he had to, you know, take care of the Jays. Back when I was hooping... We used to walk in regular sneakers uh, to the game, and then we would put our hoop shoes on at that moment. Yeah, and we definitely hooping. didn't even put Look Jordans on the doing. court. You were actually hooping. Oh, okay, hooping. well. <laughs> Look, I mean, Look, he's out here. I thought, he had to have, I thought he had to have them on pillows the whole time. He, he came out there <laughs> to show people his non-skills. I don't understand. Like, a pillow, really? Those do, I mean, they are fire. It's a extra. I would like... I will take I'll, I'll take a pair if you want to give them to me, but I'm that's a lot. That is a lot, DJ Khaled. Um, and speaking of DJ Khaled, he tricked us a few days ago in this edition of One v One. All right, Roz, let's get into a game we like to call One v One. Uh, it's where we look at the accomplishments uh, of two people. Um, and, you know, we are focusing today not on players, but um, of NBA celebrity fans. These fans are famous musicians. Ooh. They're actors. They're directors. Um, they, got a, they got a resume. So we're going to look at a uh, blind resume and try to, try to guess which NBA fans these are. You ready to do this? I'm ready. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's see the first one. Fan number one. A 24-time Grammy winner, zero Emmys, okay. and zero Super Bowl halftimes versus fan number two, wow. 10-time Grammy winner, four-time Emmy winner, and two-time Super Bowl halftime show performer. So the question okay. here is, okay. which fan would you rather be? I'm kind of going with the halftime shows, meaning that they have had the chance to make big commercial success. Um, so I'm going to go with whoever's been at the halftime show. And fingers crossed it's Beyonce! I mean, I, like, shout out the 24-time Grammy winner. <laughs> like, that's, you that's know, no, amazing. Right. But, but 24 I, I Grammys, with the versus... but no Emmys. But no yeah, Emmys. Right. No Emmys, no <laughs> Super Bowl halftime show. Like, where's your versatility? That's all I'm saying. Where, like, Seriously, what have you done? <laughs> what, what have you done? I mean, oh, real? <laughs> oh, there we go. No. We both dissed wow. Jay Z. Look at us. They have revealed it right as well. <laughs> the cat wow. got our time. You know what, Cass? Cass, there's yeah. a larger social commentary to be had here. <laughs> there's a larger social conversation to be had here. We'll leave it at that. We'll oh, leave it at that. You see um, you? But you know, both very <laughs> great. Artists like I, uh, you know, a young Cassidy went to an InSync concert or two. Um, not ashamed yep. to mention it. The Bye 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 um, hit what? back in Just, the day. Justin Timberlake is he's incredible. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Let, let's look at the next. Let's look at the next one. Okay, two-time wow. Oscar winner, 2.1 million in Insta followers, and wait, 50 million net worth. Why do I feel like the images are giving the player number two away? Zero Oscars, 30.2 million in right. followers, 75 million right. in network. I'm like, that looked like Shaq, if you ask that me. That does. But I'm going that does look like reside. Shaq. I'm going, where the, I'm going where the money reside. Hit me up with that $75 million network. I'm going to go with the Oscar winner. Um, I think that's uh, Spike Lee. Okay. Okay. Let's see it. Oh, ah, that's, oh wow. that's not Shaq. That is not Shaq. <laughs> that's not Shaq. <laughs> that's not Shaq. Well, but that's okay. You know? No, it wasn't. It was, it was another one. Another one. See, that was fun. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I I've seen you at, a, at a, a game or two as a fan. It's not, it's not all the time that we get to be fans in the stands. Um, but, I, you know, they need to put our resume up there sometime. I would have chose you. <laughs> if I'd have seen it up there, I no. know you probably had a couple of those MMs. A couple of those MMs. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> More NBA cross-court coming your way. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>